England's primary schools are filling up. A booming birth rate, along with increased immigration, means there are now more pupils than places in schools up and down the country. Gascoigne Primary in East London now has 1,200 pupils. They've already had to build extra classrooms and are now taking extreme measures to cope with demand. We have staggered play times, staggered lunch times. Um, we have no more than 30 children in, in a class, although you know, we're a very large school. Um, and that, that has been very, very successful. So though we're very, very large, I think you know, we've managed with the help of the local authority and the hard work of the teachers to do a very successful job. By 2015, almost half of England's school districts will have more pupils than places. A year later, two-thirds of local authorities will be over capacity. The greatest pressure is on schools in the south of England, where there will be a shortfall of up to 20%. Great to see you. Congratulations. The Education Secretary, on a visit with the Prime Minister to a new free school in Birmingham today, says they've already doubled funding for new school places. I think there is definitely an issue in making sure that we have enough primary school places across the country. And that's why when we inherited a terrible situation from the last government, we switched funding from secondary to primary in order to ensure that there were more places, enough places, for every parent. But the opposition blamed the government for cancelling Labour's school building programme and say it's the pupils who will suffer. There are several dangers, overcrowding, the loss of vital facilities as rooms are converted into classrooms, as outdoor spaces built upon with temporary classrooms, little children having to travel much further to school than would normally be the case. The government says more school places are being created, but with demand outstripping supply, councils say the numbers just don't add up. Leila Hayes, 5 News.